And otherwise, decent job turns into a piece of crap. Other than they were lazy or that they weren't getting paid enough, so they just. So I'm doing some work in this house. I'm installing a backsplash and I'm installing a little floor over here. Let me show you. Yeah, I've got this little floor over here. This really is garbage tile, but this is what they wanted. And I got this backsplash done over here. And you know, I kind of try and take care of all the details. This part is grouted because I, I wanted to get the stove in you know, before they put the stove in. And then this part over here. So I took care of all the little details. I, I polished the edges. I tried to keep all the grout lines even, make it nice and straight on the bottom. And you know, it's not perfect, but you know, it's just a nice, decent job. And over here on this this floor, even though it's a crap garbage tile, you know, I tried to keep it all nice and even all the way around, trying to keep it neat. And yeah, I think I did a half decent job. What really gets me is, so I have to get my water out of the tub area over here. There's no one living in this house right now, but so I had to get my, my water in this tub area. And you look at the floor. The floor is good. They did a nice job on the floor. It's, it's decent. It's actually not bad at all. And then you look at the tub area. Now the tile work, it's not bad. It's, it's half decent. Actually more than half decent. It's actually not bad at all. The tile work. It's a little lippage here and there. But really, it's it's... It's not bad at all, but they failed miserably with the caulk lines. See how fat those caulk lines are on the bottom, in the corner. It doesn't match. It just doesn't go. And then up on the ceiling, oh my God, it's like a half an inch up there all the way around. I can tell you the reason why that happened, because they were lazy. And this is how you can tell. So it's a full tile in the tub and it's a full tile in the ceiling. Well, most of it's a full tile in the ceiling until you get to here because the ceiling dives down and then they had to cut the side here. So they didn't want to cut the ceiling and they didn't want to have to cut the tub. So they just went. And then the same on the walls here. This is a full tile right here. And then so there's full tile, half tile, then they do half, full tile and half tile. It was just like a quarter inch short. They didn't want to have to cut, change the layout and cut a different size. Because they could have just changed the layout a little bit and made it make it work better. And the same for over here. This is a full tile and this is a full tile. They didn't want to cut anything. So they just went with what they had it actually didn't work. And they added a slew of metal here when you really don't need that. You just need it on the top there. But 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 because if they added, so actually see how they, they didn't even match that. See that that corner is small. And that's a full tile. This is a this is a full tile. And then this is a, a smaller tile. So that corner does not match that corner. Why? Because they started with a half tile here and a full tile and then this is further out than this side so they couldn't get it to match so it's just an overall failure of layout foresight and most of all just being lazy so even though the field tile is decent it's not bad they failed in all the other details i mean there's really no reason for it other than they were lazy or that they weren't getting paid enough, so they just they had to throw it in quick and they didn't care about the details. And always remember, I always say details matter because they do, because if you don't do it, an otherwise decent job turns into a piece of crap.